So we're talking about the frequency of severe weather, which goes along with safety and what these things mean. Because obviously here in Southern New England, people aren't as versed as in this particular case with a tornado or even severe thunderstorm, what a watch versus a warning is. So, so this we graphic, use this graphic all the time. It really but. has been, <laughs> it, it, it started on social media a couple of years ago, but it, it's a great way uh, to kind of, you know, the difference between a, a watch and a warning. Yeah. So in any severe thunderstorm, tornado, the watch is issued when kind of the setup is there. Um, National Weather Service, as well as uh, our team, is taking a look at kind of the uh, climatological or the environmental setup for the day. If it looks productive or favorable for things to develop uh, with models, things like that, a watch will be issued. We actually just had a severe thunderstorm watch yesterday. Yes. Um, because of that environmental setup. Whereas the warning, obviously, is a little bit different. The, the taco <laughs> is, is made, and uh, it means for tornadoes, I guess, easier to explain that way. The tornado has either been observed on radar or uh, on the ground, and it's an active situation where you s should seek shelter immediately and exactly. take action, as, as this graphic says Yeah, here. exactly. So watch being being prepared, favorable conditions, the ingredients are there. doesn't necessarily mean that a, a tornado or severe thunderstorm will happen. Whereas the tornado warning, as you mentioned, it's two reasons. One, it, it is the captain obvious, which is it's on the ground. We're, it, mm -hmm. we're getting reports from law enforcement, or we, we've seen video. Observed, it's on the yeah. ground, it's observed. Most of the time, the tornado warning is issued when the Doppler radar is seeing something inside the thunderstorm that is very suspicious. There's some spinning. It looks like a tornado may be forming, and so the, the warning is issued. Sometimes the tornado yep. warning is issued, and we don't get a tornado. Yeah. But it was pretty close. Or sometimes we'll get a funnel cloud, which is the funnel never touches the ground, but you see a funnel. And then other times uh, the radar is, is saying the right thing, that a, that a tornado and is forming. One thing forming. I want to mention about that, too, is just how far the technology has oh, advanced yeah. in the amount of time that we have now um, between when you get the warning and when it's going to approach your area. I mean, even 10 years ago, we were not as far along as far as the time now people have to prepare, which is pretty amazing. The lead time has increased, and, and, and minutes mean uh, the difference between property damage and, and really life and death sometimes. Uh, and the technology of our Doppler radar now compared to you know decades ago, it has higher resolution. We can see a better a sampling of how the air is moving inside the thunderstorm and whether or not there's hail in, in the storm, if, how fast the mm -hmm. air is rising up and down, if the air is spinning, or if it's uh, kind of blowing in a straight line. Um, so that is uh, the difference between a watch uh, and a warning.